My name is David Dorsey, and I'm representing the Kansas Policy Institute. First of all, thank you for your time uh, today. Chairman McNeese and state board members, the purpose of my comments today is to respond to a written publication from board member Jim Porter in his official capacity as a state board member. Mr. Porter, in an essay about school finance, writes that the whole story should be told when it comes to school funding. We couldn't agree more. However, we found that in more than a dozen instances, Mr. Porter failed to tell the whole story. He used the word deceptive in his essay to describe the truth about increases in funding to public education. Time allowed in this venue does not permit me to discuss each instance in which we believe Mr. Porter himself is, and using his own word, deceptive, and not telling the whole story. I will briefly address only three. The first one is special education funding. Mr. Porter states the way special education funding is sent to school districts, and I quote, recently changed. According to your own Dale Dennis, SPED funding has gone directly to school districts for at least 10 years. Porter claimed the change, and he said was made, was lauded as an increase in public school funding. That's a quote. As if previously those dollars were somehow hidden from total education funding. And he also failed to identify who lauded it. The second one is CAPERS. Mr. Porter writes, until recently the state contribution to the Kansas Public Employees Retirement System was sent directly to CAPERS. Again, according to Mr. Dennis, CAPERS funding was last sent directly to CAPERS in 2004. Once more, Mr. Porter claimed it was lauded as an increase to public school funding, and once more he failed to claim who lauded it. The last one is property taxes. Beginning in 2015, the 20 mil levy required from local districts by the legislature was officially counted as state funding. Mr. Porter makes it sound as though legislators are claiming the property tax transfer was an increase in state funding. That's not the case. He also failed to note that the 20 mills mandated should have always been recorded as state aid and that many legislators were not aware that this was being counted as local aid. Mr. Porter summarized these examples with this statement. These three deceptions amount to hundreds of millions of dollars that are being advertised as increases in school funding when they're only reclassifications of funds that were already being spent. As you can see, when the whole story is told, that statement is simply not true. The increases to school funding are real and material, not just some kind of shell game. According to KSDE figures, total education continues to set records and per, per pupil spending is now at an all-time high in excess of $13,000 a year. That is the whole story. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <clears throat> a point of, just a point of clarification, um, when board members write mm -hmm. letters to the editor and stuff, they're writing as themselves and also as a representative of the people of their district and expressing their own views and opinions. You know, when we speak at the board and vote, that's when we are taking official action. Just okay. It just okay. it was it was posted to his Facebook page or website yeah. as state board member. So well, he identified himself as a state yes, board he member. Did. Yeah, but okay. yeah, I just want to clarify right. that Certainly. that wasn't a position that we all took. We might agree with it, but you know, or disagree with it as board members. Sure. Okay. Well, and I want to make it clear that we're not making our comments as a reflection of the entire board, either. Sure. Okay. okay. No, that's all right. Sure. Just clarification. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our last speaker is 